Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Scott Perry from Live Rock Music by Scott Perry. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching my rock videos. Man, I really, I really love you know recording videos and going to concerts. You know, I, I hear sometimes in the comments like, "Put your damn phone down, just enjoy the show, be in the moment, etc." But uh, and I'll tell you why I record some of these things, and you know what makes me keep recording them. W one thing is. Um, you know, not everyone can go to a concert. Not everyone, not everyone can afford to go to a concert. So being able to jump on YouTube and see your favorite band, you know, is great. I've gotten comments from people that are in wheelchairs or they're sick, you know, from like a terminal illness or they just don't have the money or they're not playing in their town. So people being able to see it, you know, is cool. You know, that brings joy to me that, that they can, that they can do that. Um, I've gotten the blessing of most of the bands that I've recorded to, you know, do this and put it up on YouTube. I don't really get a lot of complaints, but, you know, it's a different time that we live in today. You know, people are capturing memories on their phones. They'd like to share with their friends on social media. I mean, I get it. You know, back in my day, there were no cell phones when I was in high school and college, and we were just rocking out and living the moment, and, and that's cool, too, if that's your thing, but... Don't hate on people that are recording or having fun with their phones. I mean, that's just the way it is nowadays. I want to talk a little bit about Five Finger Death Punch concert I went to last night uh, in Irvine at Five Point Amphitheater. I went with my 15-year-old son, who's a huge fan. I'm a fan, too. Probably not as big as he is. But it, it, was, it was a great show, I got to tell you. Um, I didn't know really what to expect. You know, we were in the pit, which is where my... My son loves to go. I got front row tickets once to Iron Maiden to surprise him, and he complained that I didn't buy pit ticket. So anyway, there you go. There's kids for you. I guess he just kind of likes the action. You know, we were we were like, you know, at the very front for Megadeth. We're, we hung a little bit in the back because he kind of got beat up a little bit in the pit when we were watching Megadeth. So we decided to kind of hang in the back, and we were still getting bumped all over the place. You know, the, the energy at this show is ridiculous. It is so hard to explain. But everyone there is just so passionate, so real. They love the music. You know, they love Ivan, um, you know, and, and, and watching the band play. Zoltan, I mean, he was he was rock solid. He was just ripping and shredding. And, and, and again, it was, it was just the, the energy that I really respected. I also respected that there wasn't a lot of, like, talking. It wasn't, you know... No, you know, Ivan wasn't talking about politics or this or that. I mean, he threw a couple little things out there, but it, but it wasn't like giving a speech, you know, to try to use the platform of his concert. You know, he was just rocking out, you know. A couple of really cool moments from the show that you'll see, you know. Um, you can skip past this if you don't want to listen to me blab about it. But um, last night was his daughter's birthday. Nova is her name, and he brought her out on stage. Everyone in the crowd sing happy birthday, so be sure to, you know, not miss that part. Very heartwarming. I mean, you know, it just kind of shows you rock stars are just real people, too. They got kids, and, you know, this, this happens to be their job, and they got a lot of attention and, and fame from it. But he really just kind of kept it real. You know, he, he talked a little bit about his journey with sobriety. You know, he's got four and a half years, and... You know, um, he shared a little bit about that, but, you know, I thought that was nice. You know, just kind of sharing something from the heart. And, and watching his daughter on stage was just like the cutest thing in the whole world. And, and listening to him talk about it, you know, you don't, you don't always see that side of a rock star's life. So to be able to just like see that and, you know, see how real he was and how much he loved his family, man, it was, it was just heartwarming. But the energy of the show, the pit was crazy. There were girls running around in the pit. There were old men running around in the pit. You know, but it was still civil. You know, it was, it had the thrash and violence you want to kind of be, you know, and, and feel when you're in the pit. It was hardcore. You know, don't get me wrong. But no one got in a fight. You know, there was no problems. You know, a couple of people weren't happy with getting bumped and shoved, including me. You know, uh, I had a guy ram into my son and... I grabbed him by the shirt and told him he'd be missing some teeth if he did that again. Maybe shouldn't have done that in retrospect, but, you know, hey, I was just worried about my kid getting hurt. He's 15, and he was kind of crunched up against the stage. But anyway, that kind of stuff happens. But 
Enough of me blabbing. On with the show. I hope you enjoy the full concert. I use a high quality microphone, a record in 4K. Please like and subscribe and share this all over you, everywhere you want. I appreciate it.
for God's given water. And since we're in California, it's not really given by God, it's more of the government, but hey, who's asking? All right, we're gonna keep throwing them out. How's everybody doing? What a beautiful night for music, right? It's a crazy fucking world we're in today, is it not? We're not going to talk about that tonight. Nope, tonight we're going to wash that shit away.
time to burn this motherfucker.
was funny. Are you guys okay? Right here. Did he lose something? Minus his marbles? <laughs> I know I asked before, but how is everyone? Seriously. I see a lot of familiar faces. You know the odd part about playing California? For one, you can feel the judgment, right? It's Cali! I lived here for almost six years, I get it. We see every band that comes through to every goddamn thing they can do to impress us, and none of it ever does. Look at Matt. Look at Matt. Learn to swim. Here, I'm gonna give this to this guy over here. He looks like he needs it. Here. No, no, no. Take care of each other. This is for you. No, don't bring him around. What are you doing? You did this last time. Stop thinking. The next generation of heavy metal! You probably have the coolest parents in the world next to me. <laughs> Just remember something, my friend. No matter what happens tonight, this show is meant to be fun. So, in all relation, we'll just call it Champagne. <laughs>
First off, make some fucking noise for fire from the fucking gods! <laughs> Try it out. You ever heard of Delta 8? I knew it. You have now. If you don't want to pass it down the line, man. Somebody will love that shit. Secondly, my new favorite band. <laughs> Those guys are fucking incredible, right? And of course, what an honor and a fucking privilege to be on tour with the one and only Dave Mustaine and the fellas from Megadeth! So we just got back from Europe, spent about a month and a half there. You know, sometimes it's healthy to get an outsider's perspective on what's going on at home. And I realized something while we were over there. Everybody in this fucking country has one thing in common. You know what that is? We love Satan! We are all bad company. Company and always on the run. Destiny
You get to smoke all that weed without anybody fucking with you. What the fuck? Get out of here! And then there's that guy in the very, very, very top left-hand corner. See him up there? Gonna sit right here. Uh, I can't help but wonder, are you there by choice? Or did you get fucking lost and think this was a journey concert? Don't touch your back! Hey, look at this video I got. I had to ask how you guys were up there because from up here you're really fucking hard to see. Let's get this going.
Turn on the lights, Adam. <laughs> Turn on all the fucking lights. Turn them on, asshole. So really quick, that's the last time I'm going to be able to cuss for a few minutes because I have a special announcement to make. Now, throughout life, I have been thrown a whole bunch of curveballs. Have you? And there's always one thing in my life that brings me back to ground zero and it totally levels me out. Do you want to know what that is? My kids. Yeah, I know you didn't see that, huh? You're like, think he's going to say something cool like dead goats. No, oh, man, one of the best things that ever happened to me, minus this band and all of you, is having children. So today, I celebrate somebody very special to me turning into double digits. Ms. Novabella, would you please come say hello? Everybody? This is my daughter, Nova. Ms. Nova turns 10 years old today. And I told her that I wanted to see what it was like to have a really, really, really big family. So, let's get these fans off you here. That's not going to help. Would you guys help me sing her happy birthday? And a one, and a two, and a happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear beautiful supernova. Somebody in our crew cannot count. <laughs> Who was responsible for this cake? <laughs> Are they smarter than a fifth grader? That's the question. So once again, happy birthday, baby. Thank you for making my life better. Guys, so much, man. Seriously, thanks. 
Listen, I'm going I'm to break this down before I start this next part. What happened earlier is we all have decisions to make, right? Today I woke up and something was thrown at me that was so heavy and the gravity was so far. I mean, it was, it would have broken me any other day. And I'm just being honest with you. I'm in recovery, okay? Four and a half years. And what hit me this morning almost changed it all. I almost threw it out the window. I'm not gonna bullshit you. Hold on. And for that brief nanosecond, when I thought about it, this beautiful spark of light came over me and I realized it was her birthday. This isn't about me. What she was trying to tell you is whether I'm a rock star or not, at the end of the day, I'm her dad, and that means the most. So once again, thank you guys for your support. How in the heck am I supposed to sing? All right, Evan, shut him down. Give me a spotlight. I'm in the mood to do something deep. Another day in this carnival of souls Another night settles in As quickly as it goes The memories are shadows <laughs> Almost, almost Slow down, wait for the rest of class I'm trying. <laughs> and it's almost like your heaven's trying everything to break me down. Yes, it's almost like. Missed it by that much. <laughs> your heaven's trying everything. Your heaven's trying everything to break me down. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Let's try another one. I'm having fun. Maybe in another life. I could find you there Was pulled away before your time I can't deal It's so unfair and it feels Yes, it feels like Heaven so far away Yes, it feels And it feels like The world has grown cold now that you've gone away Much better, yeah! All right, now we got a rhythm going. Where's Andy? Andy, come out here, my friend. Say hello to the one and only Andy James. I want to keep this really slow and give me it on a two. How was that for Sinatra? You like that? You're like, I, I don't know Sinatra. Sorry, he's from Britain. He doesn't listen to Sinatra. Come on, it was funny. All right, give me something here. What are we going to work with? Sing it! Hey, yeah, yeah, 
one and only Charlie the fucking engine right here. The only thing that would have made that solo better is if you would have shown your dick on accident. Everybody on the left hand side, what up? You guys want to have some fun? Then say burn, motherfucker, burn, motherfucker, burn! Yep, that was called underwhelming. Everybody on Chris's side, what up? Motherfucker, burn, motherfucker, burn! Example A. I love it, there's always this one guy with his arm crossed, like I'm offending him personally. Oh, fuck that, I scream really loud. Are you alive? Then say burn, motherfucker, burn, motherfucker, burn! Fuck, 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 fuck
Fuck yeah! This is a good time, man. So I wanted to tell you guys, if you noticed during Burn, motherfucker, we were missing the fire and stuff. Since our label is here, I just wanted to thank them for cutting our budget so we couldn't afford real production. Hey, they're sitting right over there in the VIP seats. You can tell them for me. Zoltan did his best. At the end of the day, know this. With or without production, we have got your fucking six.
However, they did take a whole bunch of money off the top and tried to leave us with nothing. That's why I'm pissed off. Fuck them. Gotta love Hell A, baby! The Bat! Now, most nights I would give this to one of you, but I think it only appropriate that I give it to... Oh, she's taking a nap? Here you go, baby. Funniest thing, my daughter is under. She is not impressed at all, ever. She went to see Ariana Grande, and she comes home. She's all. She had confetti, and there was like fire, and she was dancing. And I go, we have confetti, and, and we have fire. 
and our fans are really good dancers. Nope, not impressed. But I love you. <laughs> All right, everybody, one last time. Thanks for coming out tonight. Here. Before we get into this, check this out. You guys have to try this. Thing. I'm spending time up here tonight because I'm excited just to be here. Where's the band? You guys okay? Hi, say hi to Zoltan. They're still here. Holistic. It is, want some? Made his head. Moody's Medicinals, baby. From us to all of you, thank you so much for coming out tonight. We can't wait to hear this again. This is The Bleeding.
Love and respect, power and grace. Until next time, take care of one another. Be well. Ooh, good video, huh? Good video. That was awesome.